a man must come back. Halfway down the road of life is as good a time as any. I am from Mayo, the plain of the yew trees, and my name is Joe Malone. She shot my o chain. This is Brafey, near Castlebar in County Mayo, a small village of approximately 200 families with four establishments, the pub, the post office, the school and the church, often referred to by my mother as damnation, communication, education and salvation. There's our house. I grew up there, cheek by jowl with history. I remember the trees around Brafey House, the high containing walls which kept us out, so that the birds in the trees were fair game for the youngster with a gun. The Browns of Brafey had a good run of it, from the first shadowy John Brown of the Nail, started putting the land together in the 16th century. He was here before the Cromwellians, and if you have a mind to hunt through the state papers of the late 1500s, you find him cropping up here and there beavering away quietly in the Queen's interest and that of John Brown. Today we'd say he kept a low profile, but when he and his family had finished, they had land and a half dozen houses like this on the landscape of Mayo. During the war, there'd be a newsreel film of General Montgomery, and the man three paces behind him, a sort of ADC, was a Brafey House Brown. Andy McTighe was my school teacher and Andy remembers the last of the Browns. Oh yes, well, uh, as a matter of fact, the changes were coming even when you were here. The Brafey House was, uh, it wasn't the sort of a foreign fortress that it had been in the, in the olden times, back in the landlord times. The, the young or Browns were rather nice people, do you see, and uh, there was very little of the landlord class about them. But, uh, it was cut off and people were cut off from the domain and that, but uh, they were gradually changing and the people's attitude towards them changing too, you know. We had uh, safe faults on both sides. We were on the other side of the road and I grew up with neighbours like Mike Lavelle and Lawrence Barrett. And they were older people who had this lovely sense of village.